Hey you, as promised at the end of my last video, here's a video two weeks post initial head buzz, kind of going into frequently asked questions I've received and my feelings since the initial buzz. So first question that I get a lot, why did I do it? So short answer, I was sick of hair. I didn't want to deal with it any longer. For a more extensive answer, I do have a video on that, so please feel free to check that out. Uh, another question I've been getting mostly online is, what did I use to buzz it? I just went to the store and I got this. I liked it because it had uh, a wider attachment and it's rechargeable. That's really what I was looking for. I didn't want to have to deal with a cord and I'm really happy with it. It, it does the job, um, no issues with it. So I'm going to continue to use this. I've seen lots of cool ones. I forget what they're called, but basically you can kind of rest it between your fingers and go like this. Looks cool. They're pretty expensive. I mean, I think that I'm pretty well set with this, so I won't be seeking anything different unless this, you know, ends up not working, which hopefully it doesn't happen because it was like, I think $60 I spent. A lot of people have been asking if I will ever clean shave my head. I don't know. I mean, I'm open to it maybe in the future to try it at least once. I do think it would feel really good to the touch. So I'm kind of curious about that. Also curious about other sensations like showering. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do it anytime super soon. Maybe in the fall or something. I am concerned about burning my head. I did have a friend recommend some sunscreen, so I need to get that ordered before our warm weather hits in full force. But yeah, I might clean shave it at some point. If I do, I'll likely document it. Um, I don't have any interest in doing it right now. I am grateful that my head is, you know, decently shaped. And I did spot a pretty sizable mole on the back of my head. Um, it looks kind of like an upside down heart, which is cool because throughout my life, I've always found heart shaped things in the most seemingly random places. So I thought that was kind of cute. It doesn't really bother me. I will keep an eye on it just to make sure, you know, it's not changing shape or color or anything like that. But I don't currently have any concerns about it. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe some, at some point I will go for the full shave. A lot of people have asked if I will keep it buzzed and the answer is yes. I love it for so many reasons, which I will get into later, but uh, I obviously can't say if I'll do this forever because I don't know how I'll feel in the future, but as of now, I'm absolutely loving it and I do plan on keeping it buzzed. I just buzzed it yesterday, which was the 13 day mark since the initial buzz. And it was kind of cool to see my hair growing in and feel how the texture changed as it was growing in. Um, I think that like the biggest adjustment actually was seeing my real hair color because I've been coloring my hair blonde for gosh, literally about 20 years. And I mean, I would only do it like twice, maybe three times a year. So my roots would grow out you know, decent length. So obviously I can see my natural hair color and I have had my natural hair color fully grown out at one point in my adult life. And I just, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's kind of like a, it's hard to see now with it this short, but if you check out um, my shorts, you'll see a video of my hair at one week. And I'm just not a big fan of the color. Um, if I do ever decide to grow my hair out again, I would like to just embrace my natural color and not deal with dyeing it and, you know, re-damaging it again. So yeah, it's been cool to see the length grow in. I think the two week mark is a good time for me to buzz it. That's, you know, about two times a month. I'm not really looking to deal with hair much more than that. That's a big reason why I got rid of it is to save time um, on it. So yeah, the two week mark seems pretty solid for me. What did I do with my hair? It's actually still in a bag. I still have it. I'm getting ready to ship it to a student in New York who I got connected with through a website, Matter of Trust. Basically, they collect hair, fur, and they use it to clean up oil spills. Um, pretty cool. I'll link the website in the description if you want to check it out. And a lot of people have assumed or asked if I donated it to create a wig. And there's a few reasons why I didn't. Um, one, 
a lot of the places that do still accept real hair, they want hair that's not extremely damaged. I had <laughs> a lot of split ends. Um, a lot don't want hair that's been dyed. Uh, many want hair that's minimum of 10 inches long, some minimum like 13 or longer. And it seems like quite a few places are moving against using real hair and moving to synthetic because it's lighter, it's easier to take care of, things like that. So after looking into a few websites, I just decided I would look elsewhere and thankfully a friend linked that matter of trust. So that seemed like a good enough option. In my research, I did learn about some interesting things that people have made with hair, such as whips, um, jewelry, clothing, furniture, so some of the earrings actually looked kind of cool. It's just like little hoops of braided hair. Maybe I'll save a little bit and attempt a little project. But yeah, people have definitely gotten quite creative. What have people's reactions been? So I work at a place that I've worked uh, for the better part of 10 years. And so I have a lot of regular people who see me. And so, you know, the month leading up to cutting my hair, I told a lot of them like, hey, you're gonna come in in April and you're gonna see that I don't have any hair. Just kind of warning them so they weren't alarmed or thinking that there was something wrong or that I had some illness or anything like that. Um, but there's obviously people that I missed who see me frequently and were quite taken aback by the change. So they've pulled other people, my coworkers aside and asked them like, is Ashley okay? And um, yeah, I think it's sweet that they're concerned. Um, it's just interesting too, like seeing how often that's people's first thought when seeing such a big change. Cause like, why would a woman want to get rid of all of her hair? But honestly, I've been blown away by the support, like right from the get go. The, I think it was the day or the day after I initially buzzed it. I went to my favorite little discount grocery store, shout out to Mike's Discount Foods in Fridley, Minnesota. And I was just, you know, doing my thing. And this woman comes up and she's like, oh my God, you are gorgeous. You are rocking that hair and that, or that hairstyle. And it feels weird calling it a hairstyle because it doesn't really involve much hair. But she was just like so nice. And um, she, as she's walking away, she's just still like shouting out compliments at me. And I was like, oh my God. I ran into her again when I was about to check out. Ended up talking to her for like 30 minutes. And she shared with me that... You know, she was a hairdresser for many, many years and she's actually had cancer twice and lost her hair for sure once because of it, possibly twice, I can't recall. But um, yeah, it just led to a really interesting conversation. And then uh, the senior home where I work a few shifts a week, I went in and I'm signing in at the front desk and there was a woman who I'd never seen before, um, not an employee of the senior home. And she's like, oh my God, you're so cute. And I was just like, taken aback like that was random and really sweet and just kind of a nice little confidence boost because I was feeling quite exposed you know not having any hair and it's just interesting like I I didn't expect people to be so supportive I've had tons of people reach out online I'm shocked that my video my last video is approaching like 15,000 views there's an Instagram page called Rock That Buzz. Highly recommend checking it out. It's really cool to see different people's journeys with buzzing their hair and, you know, the befores and afters. But they shared my, a reel of mine and that's had like 23,000 views. And I'm learning that people are really fascinated by women who decide to get rid of their hair. I, I did not know that this, you know, world existed. So it's been kind of cool. I've received a lot of messages from people just like expressing that they're proud of me or they thought it was really bold that I did something that I've wanted to do for so long or people sharing that they've actually wanted to do it too but they've been nervous. Um, somebody, an Instagram um, acquaintance, I suppose, reached out and said like his sisters really wanted to do it but you know, hasn't had the courage to and asked if I could like make a little video and send it so we could show her and I did and she did it and she cried um, after she did it and the next morning and I was nervous because I was like, oh no, like, does she hate it? And she's actually really happy that she did it, which is so awesome. Like, I don't know, I have another friend, um, who I got to meet in person after being friends on Facebook for years, just a couple months ago, and she's finally going for it. She's going to buzz her hair in, I think, three weeks now. So I'm really excited for her to take that leap. And yeah, I just, I think that if somebody 
is feeling like they want to do something, tune into that. Explore why, kind of weigh the pros and cons if you need to, and just go for it. That's my best advice is if you want to do something and it's not harming anybody else, go for it. You know, as far as we know, we only live this one life. I hope that's the case. I don't want to come back. Um, do what you want to do. I'm so glad that I did it. And it was weird because I went to go write in my journal the other night. And oftentimes when I go to do this, I read my previous entry. And then sometimes I'll go back a couple years around the current date and see, you know, where I was at then. And I happened to come across this journal entry from five years ago, 2018. And it was May 2nd, I believe, which is coming up in just a couple days. And I actually wanted to share what I had written in that. May 2nd, 2018. Authenticity is a word that has been on my mind lately. Am I being authentic? In some ways, I don't think I am. I wish I could fully let go of my fear of judgment and what others think of me. Olivia, coworker of mine, said a while back, if you lived on an island completely by yourself where you wouldn't see anyone, would you still get breast implants? My very first YouTube video kind of goes into this whole story. After a little thought, I said no. This made me think a lot. What other things would or wouldn't I do if no one else were to see me? One thing that instantly comes to mind, I'd shave my head. No need for wasteful shampoo, no drying it, no brushing tangles, worried about greasiness, worrying about greasiness or trying to braid it, riding with the car windows down or on a roller coaster or motorcycle with no worry about my hair, no wasting money on dyeing it. But I'll probably never shave my head because I feel like I would be ugly. I feel that people I'm attracted to wouldn't be attracted to me. How silly and shallow is that though? Shouldn't I only want to be with someone who's attracted to me for me? All of me, hair or no hair? I feel vain for caring so much, especially when some people lose their hair to illness and have no choice in the matter. So to read that and fast forward five years and see that I actually did it when I previously thought I never would, even though I wanted to, I don't know, it just sparked all kinds of feelings and it made me kind of emotional, honestly, and it made me feel proud of where I am and I don't know if this is just a result of, you know, living my life a little outside the societal norms or being an activist and putting myself in uncomfortable situations or hitting my mid 30s or probably a combination of everything. But I am shedding, you know, caring what people think about me. And I wish I had come to this a lot sooner, but it feels really good and really freeing. And I'm just so pleased with where I'm at right now. So I guess that leads me to how do I like it? I love it. I love waking up, not having to worry about my hair, working out, sweating and being like, oh, it's not a hair washing day and I don't want to go through that whole process. And just being able to hop in the shower and rinse my head off. Um, speaking of showers, oh my God. My first shower after buzzing my hair was, the best word to describe it is honestly like orgasmic. It felt so good. I was not expecting that. Like I assumed it was going to feel different, but to not have my hair as a barrier and to have the water just actually hitting my head was unbelievable. It felt so good. And here I thought I was going to take shorter showers not having hair, but I will say I indulged a bit and I just like stood there under the water enjoying all these new sensations. Um, yeah, I'm like, why aren't more people who don't have hair, who previously had hair, talking about how good it feels? Love it. I wish everybody could experience it at least one time. Also, it's interesting feeling the temperature changes, you know, stepping outside when it's kind of chilly. It's like instantly my head is like on alert. So, you know, I'm wearing hoodies a lot, putting up my hood, having a hat on hand. Um, I'm already somebody who gets cold kind of frequently, so I figured that was going to be, you know, an issue. So come winter, I will be looking for some cozy hats to keep warm. And even just like walking through my house and feeling the air move across my head is just, I don't know, it's, it's pretty wild. Like I have not experienced this before and I just feel very alert and alive and I don't know I love it 
it was fun to clean out my bathroom cabinet and my shelf in the closet where I had a lot of hair stuff, putting that away because I'm not going to need it for a super long time, if ever again. So it's nice, I'm a minimalist as it is, so it was cool to just kind of minimize even further. In my video where I was buzzing my hair, I mentioned kind of feeling like I was having an out of body experience and it's so true. Like even going back and watching that video, it, it feels surreal. Like I said, wanting to do this for as long as I have and not thinking I would ever get to the point of doing it. It's just been, I don't know, it's been awesome. And I wasn't expecting to feel more confident post getting rid of all my hair, but I, I do. I just feel like, I don't know, it helps me stand up a little straighter. Um, obviously, like my hair is not covering things, so my posture is on display a bit more, so that's a nice benefit. And it just feels good. It's been really interesting observing the texture. Like, you know, I just buzzed it yesterday, so it's very short and it's kind of like rough. Um, a bit Velcro-y, like fuzzies if I put on a sweatshirt. I got to make sure I don't have anything stuck to my head. Um, it was cool when I hit around like the one week mark. It was getting really soft, probably the healthiest my hair has been since I was a kid. Um, so I've, I've spent a lot of time touching my head, probably too much. I try to tone it down in public, but like just driving, I find myself just like rubbing my head and yeah, just touching areas that I haven't really spent much time touching. As for any negatives, um, I don't know if I would really deem this a negative. It's kind of my own personal feeling and maybe others share this feeling but like aren't going to voice it to my face, which thank you. Um, I do feel less physically attractive, which it is what it is. I've often been saying I feel uglier but I'm happier, <laughs> which I mean being happier is far more important in my opinion. But I'm somebody who is demisexual. I don't really form much of a physical attraction to somebody until that mental and emotional connection has been established. I'm very content being single, not looking to change that anytime soon, but if or when the time comes where I do want to date again, I, I'm not interested in being with somebody who's only interested in my physical appearance, whether it's you know my face or my body or whatever. I want them to be connected to me mentally um, and emotionally. So as you can probably tell from this video, I'm extremely happy that I finally took the leap and I encourage anybody who is really feeling a pull to do this, to just do it. 